Hey everyone, Takoyaki's here. Sorry, but no face reveal yet. Gotta build up that anticipation, you know? Alright, today I am unpacking a very cool artisan keycap that was made by my friend, Panic Pac-Man, the geisha. He also sent me a fish snack to try, which he told me is pretty popular in Singapore. We'll give that a try later. Some of you in the community may have seen the geisha in Alex Sotos' Instagram giveaway back in October and November of 2020. The one I got is a little less flashy, but is my personal favorite of his entire geisha lineup, as it references Spirited Away, a film that won an Oscar for Best Animated Feature back in 2003. One of my favorite films to come from Studio Ghibli, for sure. Alright, let's unbox. The box is well packed with some paper tissue shreds taking up the empty space to ensure the keycap doesn't get tossed around during transit. The amount of detail on her is amazing. From the lines in the hair, to the details in the facial features, and of course, what immediately stands out is the iconic makeup on her face, which of course is an homage to No Face. Nice and simple and clean. Love it. Now in terms of stem fit, the keycap didn't go all the way into the stem, which means she floats a little higher here than she should, but I will say, when I reached out to Panic Pac-Man about it, he offered to send me a replacement without hesitation. The fit wasn't so bad that the keycap would fall off when I pressed on it, although it was loose enough that I could take it off without a keycap puller. Ultimately I told him, don't worry about it. For me, the sentiment was enough. He told me he'll look out for that in future runs. And that's really all that matters to me, is seeing the willingness to improve and to make things right. Alright, now let's get into the snack that he got for me. As an Asian, I've had my share of fish meals and snacks in my lifetime, one of the highlights being fermented stingray, which tasted a lot like soft battery. I was peer pressured, never again. So I wasn't expecting anything new, but boy I was wrong. Let's start with these ingredients. I like that there isn't a million different ingredients, which means it's a mostly real and natural product. But uh, what the hell is this? Flavor Enhancer E621? And flavor spelled with a U, like in the UK or in Canada, but that's not the point here. How could they ruin such an all-natural snack with such a horrifying chemical? Monsanto is back at it again, sneaking into a classic Singaporean snack. Yet it still won an international award for food and beverages. Unbelievable, I must find out what this scary ingredient is so that I can expose the truth behind- Oh, it's MSG. What? Why the heck would they call it something like that over M- Never mind. Moving on. All right, time to open up this thing and give it a try. <sighs> anyway, the texture of this snack was unlike any fish snack I've tried before. Typically, fish snacks are fairly dense, unless it's a cracker or something, but this one was super light and had all these raised bubbles. Very interesting. They tasted good. They smell though. I was fine, but I know some people just can't deal with that dried fish or any fish smell. Brings back memories of when I brought shrimp crackers to a school lunch here in Canada. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you Panic Pac-Man for the keycap, the snack, and for your friendship. Seriously, he's a very cool guy, and as a pet lover, I'm always waiting for him to make a story post of his corgi. Go and follow him on Instagram at Panic Pac-Man. He's got some exciting projects in the works that you won't want to miss. I hope you liked this video. I know it's a little different, but if you've been following me for some time, you'll know that I like to mix things up a bit. Maybe not the best thing to do from an algorithm standpoint, but I enjoy doing it. And that's what matters, right? Anyways, see you in the next one.